Lads and ladies, we are so back! I, I literally got direct messaged on Twitter by Dan Dixon, the man himself, creator of Universe Sandbox, telling me that I had special access to this update. Maybe they were watching me complain about City Skylines not giving me early access, or maybe they just realized that this community is amazing. But no matter the reason, we did it, guys. We're, we're in. So I actually was like, wow. And so I looked at the list of things they added, and this is going to be one of the most extensive updates in a long time. They added, like, a, a billion new materials to the game, and... I have to throw them all at your, at you, at very fast speeds and kill you and everyone you've ever known and loved to really get the full experience out of this. So, wow, okay. Uh, first off, materials. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> okay, so we've got, okay, iron and silicate, I remember. Argon, sulfur dioxide, oxygen. <sighs> Thank god. It's been hard playing universe sandbox with no oxygen believe it or not when i go on for a video for about 20 minutes with zero oxygen it's bad for my health all right so nitrogen ammonia methane helium hydro this really rounds out the list we've got so many options now i think i'm going to just drop ammonia onto the earth i was trying to think of which would be the most catastrophic <laughs> oops there goes the atmosphere! It's just, it's just, the atmosphere is now just ammonia. I, I have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Composition, look at all of it! Oh, and there's cute little icons for everything too. It's not just a color. They've got the actual molecules. Okay, uh, her perhaps I added a little bit too much ammonia, so I will decrease the quantity of ammonia. Oh yeah, that really affects the, uh, the old atmosphere. Look at how dramatically, and look at how I think it affects the climate too. Maybe it's just the, the color grading, but uh, we're going to have to look at how this all affects things like the climate. I am I am pumped. This may be like a five video thing to figure out. They have some insane pictures to go along with this. So I'm actually going to create a new simulation and do this with the moon because they actually, it looks like all of the different uh, new materials look really, really unique. Um, and you can make some kind of paintings on the moon using the craters. So let's see if we go ahead and grab the... Oh man, the surface editing tool. Is that new? That, that seems... Okay, so they have the material phases for everything. Planet interiors... Realistic models of planet density, they, these, so many wins, so many wins, they even, they even have, like, citations in here, in this document. <laughs> uh, planet scaping materials onto the surface of a planet while they flow together? No way! No! Oh, what? You can actually choose a material now! Oh! Oh my god, this changes everything. You can actually... I am in awe. I am in absolute awe. I can just get my carbon dioxide ice over here, my water over here, some ammonia up here. Oh, oh, what's, hap what's happening when it mixes with the water? Oh, look at how it mixes! Oh, okay, let's go ahead and throw some oxygen down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Just that frozen oxygen. It is very cold on the moon. We'll heat it up and see what happens. Argo! And now it's a star. <laughs> well, well, how did I... I'm assuming the quantity of argon... Or maybe because of the density of argon, it caused it. It does say, it does say planetscaping materials is it a work in progress. So, so let's, I'm going to say that was likely not supposed to happen. Let's see what happens if we planetscape some argon onto the earth. 
On, on Earth, it doesn't seem to do too much damage. On the moon, it causes it to become a star. It's just how it goes. You can do ice. I can just like freeze sections of the Earth. Fill the Earth with carbon dioxide. There you go, global mega corporations. I can do it for you. Your end goal will be here soon. Okay, so that that is awesome. I am a huge fan of being able to very, very accurately, like dropping things onto the surface of, of a planet or an object is challenging because you have to kind of predict where it's going to fall. You have to mess with the, the velocity, hope that nothing bugs out. But now that we can actually draw directly onto a surface, I mean, you can draw your own, like, oceans and stuff, which is honestly one of the coolest things that's been added so far. Like, I always wanted to make helium oceans. Mmm, yes, vacation resort. Hydrogen. Mmm, yes, I see like a red material in here. Oh, it's gotta be iron, right? No? I feel like iron should be in this list, right? Or is it only on the core? Interesting, interesting. So iron isn't actually in here. There is layers, though. Materials, okay, okay, okay. So what, oh, it's sulfur dioxide. Yeah, look at that. What a color. Like, we can actually give the moon, like, a proper happy face now. Even though it's melting. It's okay. We all melt eventually. It's a part of life. Would life be the same without melting? There we, there we go. It's like a creepy Halloween blood-soaked smile. Just how we like it on this channel. Okay, um, surface materials freeze into ices, evaporate to become part of the atmosphere, melt and condensate to flow together and form oceans, realistically simulates phenomena like lakes of liquid, liquid methane on Saturn's moon Titan. Oh, jeez. Well, why don't you just throw that out like a small little aside? Now, now Titan has has proper, proper liquids. These are all, each one of these in their own would have been a fun update. But now, now they're just bragging about it. Oh yes. All right, I wanna see what happens when we hit, when we hit you with something and heat you up a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean Mercury. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I shouldn't be so mean. Mercury. Versus Titan. This 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 is how you get me to uh, play more Universe Sandbox right here, bribing me with amazing updates. Oh yes. Oh yes. There we go. Is Mercury just gonna have like oceans? Oh look, look, it is melting in one part over here. You can see the ocean. Oh, okay, it got it got eaten, but I, I actually did confirm. I did confirm that they didn't make the whole thing up. The Google Doc wasn't a lie, guys. We actually do have the feature. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's let this cool down a little bit. There, there is, I am getting a little bit of stuttering, but uh, again, they've added so many new systems. And th this is a preview. I'm getting this before you losers, so it'll probably be fixed don't worry and it could be any of the other things on my computer currently running i literally when i got this email i i threw on universe sand but actually this tweet or z it's zitter now right I, I literally didn't bother turning anything off on my computer i immediately oh look at that look at that that is absolutely awesome we just made a massive ocean of liquid methane and we can actually see the other material, which has just been kind of scattered across Saturn. That is so cool! I love that now after you hit a, a planetary or just a object with another object, you can kind of see the distribution and actually where things were deposited on it. That is that is so valuable. It makes it makes every collision unique. I love this. This is great. This is so good. Thank you. Thank you for this. Atmospheres. Oh, now you can do... Okay, so the atmospheric color, opacity, and amount of atmospheric heating in the amount of Rayleigh scattering is realistically simulated from the mixture of gases and planets. Of course, you went all the way with this as well. Okay, wow. 
No, they're dropping support for Windows 7. What will we do? I'm guys, 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 guys. It's okay. It's okay. I'm telling you. Oh, there's a console in this? Interesting. If only they added mod support. Can I can I ask for mods? Can you guys just hand me the SDK for Universe Sandbox? I can use Harmony to, to link into it, but if you just give me a copy of the source code, it would make it very easy for me to, to break it. Like like I just did. I, I don't even I think it's because I opened the console. Uh, we'll we'll just re, we'll restart her real quickly. Um they they have they have added so much. I, I may this this may legitimately take several videos to go through everything. Um, so this is officially called the terraforming update, um, which is just based. That's exactly like, I think terraforming the sun has got to be one of my most popular videos on this channel. And I think realistically creating the earth also, which also could have really used this update. There, there's just so much, there's so much we can do with this, um, Looking at the, I, I want to actually look at the composition now, because I know I know that's something they added. So if we actually go into the composition, oh look, look at how the breakdown now. That's so neat. Oh, also Universe Sandbox, um, you guys you guys should slide me. I know C Sharp. You know if you if you need a guy, you need a developer. <laughs> Uh, I don't have any, uh, astrophysics degrees, though, unfortunately. Alright. Flags show only to devs. Got- oh, I gotta hide it. Sorry, guys, you aren't devs. Can't show you those. Okay, th this is awesome. Th this is great. I'm extremely happy. I'm not gonna go too far into depth, because this was just kind of an overview video that I'm making... And going to get out before any other Universe Sandbox YouTuber because that's all I got going for me now. I can go really fast because my channel's falling apart. Um, but City Skylines 2 comes out tomorrow. So perhaps we're going to get an onslaught of new Universe Sandbox and City Skylines videos and propel the channel into a new age of success. Or maybe not. If you hate me, I understand that as well. I'll see you all next time. A fantastic job. Thank you, Dan. We love you, Dan. I, I, I'm just shocked that you remembered I existed, honestly. It feels good. feels good. Honestly, I, I saw that Universe Sandbox followed me on Twitter. I was like, oh, Emma, this is great. Look, they followed me. And then and then I got the, the, the DM, and I was like, wow, this is the best day of Universe Sandbox history ever. Oh, also, Universe Sandbox team, if you want to make a Valor planet, get some people, valor.gg, V-A-L-O-U-R.gg. We can, we can get you a Valor planet. You can have a nice little Universe Sandbox community on there. Not, not, you know, just nudge, 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 nudge. I'll make more videos on your game. It's a, it's a good idea. Bye.